Hey guys, now I would like to show you guys the material that can be found in our server, the Yolo's Minecraft server. So, we're going to start with scrap. How you guys can obtain scrap from? Alright. So, this is the example of the armor can obtain from the dungeon. So this look like leather armor you can obtain from the Blackwood Forest dungeon and look like chainmail here you can obtain from the Sahara dungeon. Okay, let's say you want to trade a scrap from the Trader's Town. You need to kill the mob inside the Blackwood Forest dungeon. And uh, you will obtain some of the armor and then you trade the armor for the scrap. This is called the scrap. So from the scrap, you can turn it into the glowing scrap. By combining nine scrap, you will be obtain one glowing scrap. And then from the glowing scrap, you can turn to solid scrap. So if you want to make a solid scrap, you need to combine 9 glowing scrap to make 1 solid scrap. And there is one more scrap, that is called rigid scrap, I will show you later inside the Trader's Town. And that one, you need to combine 9 solid scrap to obtain 1 rigid scrap. Okay, move on. And this is the bronze scale. This is the most basic. Uh, material for you guys to craft the first armor the first basic bronze armor you will need this bronze scale so the bronze scale you can obtain from bosses dungeon bosses at Sahara and Blackwood Forest so You can grind the dungeon bosses and then obtain the bronze scale. So, bronze scale you can obtain from Sahara and Blackwood Forest. Okay, move on. This is called God's Power. The God's Power only can be obtained from Sahara bosses or you can kill the mob inside the world dungeon. So, world dungeon. Mobs will drop this God's power. Alright. Okay. Now this is a strength gem and this is a vitality gem. So strength gem is used to add damage to your armor or your sword. But the vitality, it will add the health to your armor. So, these two... You can obtain it from killing uh, Sahara mob, but it will the 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 drop rate for this strange and vitality gem inside Sahara is very very low when killing the mobs. So if you want to get this strange gem or vitality gem confirmed, you need to kill the Sahara bosses. The Sahara boss's last boss, Odin, will confirm drop one of this, one of this gem, strength gem or vitality gem. Okay, this is liquid magma. Liquid magma. If you have nine, then you can combine turn it to the condensed magma. Same like this crystal. If you have nine crystal. You combine it. To be a crystallized crystal so this four item we will need <coughs> you will need this four item to make or to craft an armor so all the item i show here all of that can be used at the traders town also all of this item shown here You can buy it 
at the mall. So just wrap wrap on, and then look for the store that sell all this item. If you don't have the money, you can feel free to grind it. There is no hassle about it. Okay, let me show you guys this basic polished diamond and polished emerald. So, if you want to craft a polished diamond, you need 9 diamond block plus 1 coal. And then you can craft it into polished diamond at the trader's town. Same like the emerald. You need 9 emerald block and 1 coal. And then you can craft it, turn into 1 polished emerald. And then if you want to craft polished diamond block or polished emerald block, you need 9. You need 9 of the polished diamond or you need 9 of the polished emerald block. Then you can make 1 diamond block. So, 9 polished diamond or 9 polished emerald block. And then you can craft to one polish diamond block or one pol one polished emerald block. Okay. This material you see here is a high rarity item inside the server. Ascension star, night silver, and blue oracle comb. So all this item only drop <coughs> from the crate. You can get it from the crate if you are very very lucky. Something like the Ascension Star. If you're very lucky, you can get it for the crate. Or if you're very, very lucky, you can farm it at the World Dungeon. And the Night Silver, you can get it from Wild Boss 5. The Blue, you can get it from the Wild Boss 4. Alright. Lastly, for the basic information I want to share, <clears throat> this basic armor is quite strong for the early game, but this armor is breakable. You see, all this armor are breakable, so be careful. So this all armor are from Sahara. So when the time you you want to use the armor, make sure you bring one repair with you. So you can repair your armor in case it's going to break. So let me show you. So you see, there is no unbreakable tag down there. Even though they have the unbreaking enchantment, the unbreaking enchantment is actually is for make the armor a bit tough to break it is still breakable but tougher to break so all of this armor all the bronze legging from Sahara you can add gems to them all of them can add gems but they are not the basic armor so later on I will show you how you guys to craft the basic armor let's go Alright, let's go walk to Traders Town. Alright. So here are the entrance of the Traders Town. You just type walk Traders Town and you will be bring here. So these three NPC is nothing, it's just for the item renewable. So let's say your item is old. You cannot craft using your item, so you just come here and renew your item. And then, okay. So, this is the scrap. This is the scrap trader, you know. All the armor you get from the dungeon. This is the Blackwood Forest dungeon. All item you from the Blackwood Forest, all is all are here so how are you going to change to scrap let's say you got you got this armor right here 
so the armor will be right in here inside your inventory you just click the armor at the top column so you just click it click it click it so when you click it to the top column you will get scrap here down column and then this is sahara so all armor is sahara's armor same like before you just click anything you have armor inside your inventory and then you will get your scrap but be careful let's say you using epilogue or silver etcher or embringer make sure the item you not accidentally click it if you accidentally click it your sword your armor will turn to scrap so when you are trading scrap using sahara armor so be careful with that all right that's all so move on this i'm i'm, I'm telling you guys again this is the scrap trader so means all the armor all the sword you get from the dungeon from blackwood forest dungeon from the sahara dungeon you will you can trade for scrap here so later on the scrap you will use at the other shop here is the crafting shop so here we, we will make our basic armor See, this is the basic armor in the server. The basic and the, the, the early stages for the armor. Bronze helmet, ancient bronze helmet, and ancient bronze helmet plus. So, how are you going to obtain this? Alright. So, you just put your accuser here. And then you read. You read at the needed item. Let's say you want to craft the bronze helmet. It will need it 5 bronze scale and 2 polished diamond. Let's say you want to craft the chest plate. You will be need 8 bronze scale, 2 polished diamond. If you want to craft the leggings, you need 7 bronze scale, 2 polished diamond. Even if you want to craft the boots, you're going to need 4 bronze scale and 2 polished diamond. So let's say you have craft all these 4 and then you want to upgrade it. If you want to upgrade it, you go to the next column and then you look for the required item, the needed item. So from this armor, you want to upgrade to this armor, you will be need 1 bronze helmet, means this helmet. And then 5 Polish Diamond, 5 Polish Emerald, 2 Glowy Scrap, 2 Solid Scrap. That's why I told you guys the scraps are very important. And then from this armor, from this helmet, you then can, after you finish uh, craft this helmet, later you can craft this, this helmet. So this helmet, you will need a dragon blood. You know how to get a dragon blood? Okay, this is the material crafter. So, this scrap I told you before. So 9 scrap needed to make 1 glowing scrap. And 9 glowing scrap needed to make a 1 solid scrap. And then 1 rigid scrap, you will be need 9 solid scrap. That is the total of 729 scrap to make one rigid scrap so this item will be so expensive because you're going to need 729 scrap for one rigid scrap so this is the polish diamond i told you before one diamond block and one coal so you will be you will get one polished diamond and then if you want polished diamond block you will be need 
9 polished diamond and then if you want to craft dragon blood you will be need 8 bronze scale and 1 glass bottle if you want to make god's blood you need 8 god's power and 1 glass bottle you want to make a condensed magma, we will be need 9 liquid magma. Same like crystal, like crystal, you will need 9 crystal. Alright. The strength gem and the vitality gem dust. Remember the gem I told you before, the strength gem and the vitality gem. So if you want to craft one of these, we need 4 of the strength gem. If you want to craft this, you need 4 other vitality gem. 4 of them will make this one. One of this strength gem. And then 4 of this strength gem does, will make this high strength gem, one high strength gem. And so on. If you want to make a precious strength gem, you will be need 4 high strength gem. So basically, the calculation is 1 precious strength gem is equal to 64 strength gem same like vitality gem after you done crafting the ancient bronze helmet then you can upgrade next to the sahara trader the face guard of immortal king so the way you want to craft this face guard of immortal king first you need to craft this first. You need to craft the ancient bronze helmet first. After done craft this, then you can upgrade it. You can upgrade it here. So, the material needed to craft this. You need ancient bronze helmet, the one that you craft before, and then five gods power, and two polished diamond block. Two polish emerald block, so that is the basic way you guys need to craft. Same like all of the item, you just if you want to craft, you put your user on the item and you look at the needed items. So make sure you have all the needed items before you want to craft something. And then, if you want to put a slot in the gems you have inside your armor, you can go to this shop. This is the gem inserter or removal shop. You go, you click, you right click the NPC, you will see the type of gem can be inserted inside of the type of armor. Let's say, you have the blood chest plate, the one that you get from Sahara Mob. You can either slot in strength gem or you can slot in vitality gem. Same. Same like the first guard of Immortal Kim. Right. Let's go to the mall. Let's let's check out the mall. Let's check out how you guys want to obtain the material if you guys don't have the time to grind for the material. Let's go walk. Mall. Okay, so this is our mall. You can find item here. Inside every shop. This all is all players shop. Hmm. Alright, this is my shop. As you can see, I'm buying for scrap. So let's say you guys need money, you just go to the Black Forest and then you fight the mob there and get the armor and then trade the armor for scrap. And then you can sell the scrap here. You also can sell the scrap to the other shop that I know buying for scrap. Yes, you also can sell your scrap here. So 
so you just basically you walk walk mall and you can just hanging here walk around look into the shop what they have of what they have can offer you so if you want to buy in the mall just look at the sign here and then right click so if it out of stock it will not deduct your money okay let's try buy something Let's say you want to buy emerald so you just put your accuser on the sign and just right click oh no it out of stock too okay let's say you want to buy this iron block just right click there you will see that it is already inside your inventory so if you want to sell item here same you just hold the item you try to right click or you try to left click on the sign let's try to make an armor let's go work with the stone So you have the material, you head to Trellis Town, and then you click to the crafter, you see the requirement or the needed item, let's say you want to craft the bronze legging, you want to craft the <coughs> bronze boot, so you will need four bronze scale and two polish diamond here is your bronze scale and here is your polish diamond let's click it there it will be in your inventory so if you want to upgrade your item make sure the item is in your invent is in your inventory not in your equip you, you need to make sure your item you want to upgrade inside your inventory so if you want to upgrade next, you just need to bring the following item and then you can upgrade it. Okay guys, I think that's all for the material. Anything you want to ask, you can ask me inside the game or you can just comment to the video. Thank you guys, good night.